Professor, I suppose you think you can defeat me, is that right? But I will never give up. Even if my arms and legs failed me, I would still find a way to move forward. I will smash that false goddess and her minion into the ground. I will fight to free this world from her vile grasp. I'll... It's time. Edelgard, return Rhea. Release your grip on Fodlan. You strike me down, they will return. I cannot permit what you desire. You are a child of the Goddess. You must not be allowed power over the people. I won't back it! I will prevail. This has nothing to do with where you were born. That we are fighting now is only a result of the choices you've made. So I'm going to give that the response it deserves. I will crush you with everything I have. Let's make this quick. Lysithia, you and I are so alike. We could have walked the same path. We're alike? You don't mean to tell me... It can't be! Yet now we are at a crossroads. There's no turning back. Must we fight each other for the things we believe in? That's exactly what's gonna happen. And I will defeat you, Edelgard! <laughs> Your victory! Strike me down, you must! Even now, across this land, people are killing each other. If you do not act now, this conflict will go on forever. Your path lies across my grave. It is time for you to find the courage to walk it. If I must fall, let it be by your hand. I want it to walk with you. At last, it is over. Now we must find Rhea. Professor, brother, I have a letter. The Imperial General asked me to deliver this to my instructor. Who is it from? Hurry up, Professor. Read it at once. It is from... Hubert. Though he has left this world, he is reaching out through that letter. If you are reading this letter, that means I have perished. As Her Majesty would never surrender to another, I can only assume she has fallen as well. It greatly pains me to think of this coming to pass. That said, as the survivors, I must ask you to settle certain affairs in our stead. You must destroy the threat that slithers in the dark. I am sure you must recall Monica and Tomas. Their allies yet live. They hold deep resentment against the children of the Goddess and the people of the world. And they are biding their time until they can exact revenge. If left to their own devices, 
It is certain they will eventually bring unimaginable calamity and suffering to the world. I detected their sorcery when you took Fort Mercius. I have deduced the location of their stronghold, Shambhala. You will find its whereabouts enclosed. There is no question that they are the enemies of everyone in Fodlan. Do not allow yourselves to forget that, Astley. While I cannot say she is in good health, the Archbishop resides in a secret chamber in the Imperial Palace. I have shared the location of the entrance to that secret chamber with the person to whom I have entrusted this letter. I believe that Her Majesty will be victorious. Even still, I must plan for her defeat as well. If you wish to lead this world, I challenge you to rise to the occasion and surpass my estimation of you. Such is your obligation as the victors. And the only fitting tribute to all that Lady Edelgard sacrificed. What Hubert has written here, I cannot... <sighs> no. I know it must be true. And if that is the case, then all else makes sense now. I must speak with Rhea. It seems our battle is not over just yet. Those who slither in the dark. We must kill every last one of them, or Fodlin will never again know peace. They are allies of Monica and Tomas, correct? The ones who are after my blood. And also the ones who destroyed Fort Mercius with that mysterious light. We shall discuss this more after we have rescued Rhea. You... You have come to save me. Is this... Is this a dream? I have longed to see you again. All this time. Is it truly you? Sedith. Flane. You are here as well. Thank you for supporting the Professor, and for rescuing me. Rhea, I am overjoyed that you are unharmed. I could not stand losing another of our kind. Yes, I am reminded of the past, of reuniting in Enbar. It is truly nostalgic. I would love nothing more than to lose ourselves in memories of the old days, but... I must tell you something, Rhea. We have received incredible news, albeit from the Empire. They have told us the identity of our enemy, those who slither in the dark. It is time for us to stop hiding the truth about the Goddess, the Progenitor God, the truth about us. It is time for us to tell the people everything. Those who slither in the dark. We are told they despise the children of the Goddess. As well as those who live above ground, they are planning something horrible. Please, tell the Professor everything about these vile people. There must be things that only you know. I understand. Dear child, I will now tell you all that I know. It is true that there is a group of people who have slithered in the darkness and threatened the peace of Fodlin since ancient times. I am sure you have heard the stories of a man named Nemesis. Nemesis, the King of Liberation. The man who received the sword of the Creator from the Goddess and became a hero. However... Nemesis was originally the leader of a group of bandits. He plundered the Holy Tomb and stole the remains of the Progenitor God. When Nemesis appeared in Xanado some time later, he already wielded the sword of the Creator. The legend that the Goddess gifted him the sword so that he could fight the wicked gods is false. That story was created after the fact. I do not know how Nemesis obtained the sword or why he appeared in Xanado. But he used that sword to massacre the people there, the children of the Progenitor God. From their corpses he gained even more power and brought war to Fodlin. 
A mere bandit like Nemesis would not have been capable of anything so monstrous on his own. It was surmised that someone was collaborating with Nemesis, and there was a massive investigation to uncover who it was. But the truth was never discovered. I am now certain that his accomplices were those who slither in the dark. And this time, they have utilized the Imperial Army to send Fodlan back into the flames of war. So, Edelgard has made a temporary alliance with them in order to achieve her own aims. Professor, we must journey to Shambhala and stop them. You must not allow Fodlan's bloody history, the Red Canyon tragedy, to repeat itself. Relying on a map entrusted to them by Hubert, the Resistance Army sets their sights on the base belonging to those who slither in the dark. Beyond its entrance, they are met by a sprawling underground city. To think there is such a vast space hidden beneath the ground. How very creepy. Hmm. The atmosphere here is very different from the Holy Mausoleum or Holy Tomb. Look at the shapes and the light. It's too strange. It's all really old, but you get the feeling that it's also... new? I don't understand it. This decorating is not of Fodlin. What is the meaning here? I hate the look of things in here. Is this some kind of a city? I would never, ever live here. Living underground, all safe and isolated. It sounds really, um, really awful. An underground city hiding those who slither in the dark. I would not mind finishing up here and returning to the surface with haste. Let us search for a way to descend farther still. We should survey our surroundings carefully. No. It is simply... We must defeat those who slither in the dark, no matter what happens. But if my conjecture is correct, the one who they will wish to kill the most... is you, dear child. They are aware that you can use the sword of the Creator. Your body houses the same power they once bestowed upon Nemesis. That is why I must protect you, no matter what. Even if I must die to do so. Somewhere in your heart, I believe you do understand. You must at least have your suspicions. There is something I have not yet told you, dear child. I swear to illuminate you once this awful battle has concluded. And at the same time, I will offer my apologies to you. I must, because when you learn the truth, you will also learn what you are and how you were born into this world. It will be a hard truth to hear, when the time comes, I hope you are prepared for it. Your eyes, hair, ears, and blood. We remember it all. We remember how you ruined us. How you stole our light and condemned us to eternal darkness. Now, suffer the wrath of the Agarthans! Behold our strategy! You're nothing but animals performing tricks in the hopes of pleasing the goddess! You will never see the sunlight again!
So you have shown yourself, Felstar. Or should I say, Sothis. I will spill every drop of blood in your body to fulfill the long-standing goal of the Agarthans! You will never get to enjoy your victory. It can't be. For all Agarthans, let there be light! Sorry. It looks like I'm going to have to leave you now. One day, I hope you'll give this ring to someone you love as well as I love her. Sweet child, you have finally come. I am so happy. It does my heart well to see you here, safe and sound. Have you made your decision, Professor? Thankfully, Rhea has survived her trying ordeal. However, there is no telling how much longer her light will continue to shine. Professor, have you decided? Will you become the next ruler of Fodlan? Before I hear your answer, I shall fulfill the promise I made to you. You will know the truth about your identity. I will hold nothing back. I created you. And within you is the crest stone of the progenitor god. I hid the crest stone within your heart in order to revive her. Sweet child, I am sorry. I wanted to see her. See my mother, even if it meant doing that which is forbidden. I thought that I could regain all I had lost, if only I could revive my mother. And so I tried to bring her back by creating a body and then burying a crest stone within it. A young woman I created, my twelfth try after much heartache, was a failure. She grew up lacking the conscience of the progenitor god, and fell in love with the captain of the Knights of Zeros. In time, she became pregnant, but she and the child were not able to survive the birth. The child she bore was not breathing, and she herself was in grave danger. 
the new mother pleaded with me to take the crest stone of the progenitor god from her own body and place it within the baby. If I had done nothing, both mother and child would have died. And so I granted her final wish. As she had hoped, the baby started breathing again. The new life was saved. Your life, sweet child. Well before that, I had saved Gerald's life using the power of my blood. That means you are the child of a mother born of the progenitor god's crest stone, and a father who carried my own blood. I knew, deep in my heart, that you would be capable of housing the conscience of the progenitor god. I was right, and yet... She merely gifted her power to you, and then disappeared once more. My dearest wish did not come true. But, here you are. You alone wield the power of the Progenitor God. And now, I must ask you to use that power to save this world. You must... of the crest taking over her body? Why is this happening? Sadith, it's terrible. White beasts have appeared all over Garrick Mach. It's hard to believe, but there have been reports that the priests and knights have been changing form. White beasts? Are they the ones Rhea shared her blood and stones with? Sadith, demonic beasts are heading this way. Are after Rhea. Professor, our situation is dire. If we do nothing, Fodlin will be destroyed by a rampaging Immaculate One and these children of hers. There is only one way to stop this. We... we must... Damn it! We have no choice but to kill the Immaculate One! To kill Rhea! Though showing brief signs of recovery, even Rhea's strength has its limits. Having changed form to the Immaculate One, she is unable to control her power. As if in response, priests and knights who are directly related to Rhea by blood change into white beasts themselves. Facing this unexpected threat, the Resistance Army prepares for its final battle to save Fodlin. It is kept secret, but there is a certain rite that all initiates to high office in the church must undergo. In this rite, one pledges to serve the goddess, and in return receives a crest stone fragment and blood. The ones who have transformed alongside Rhea just now are the ones who have accepted those gifts. They will shield Rhea, the Immaculate One, I should say, with their very lives. But if we do not strike her down, Fodlin will have no future. Two arms! Surrounded already, it seems. The white beasts are those in whom Rhea's blood flows strongest. Until we get rid of them, we will not be able to so much as touch Rhea. Damn! After all that's happened, why do we have to kill Lady Rhea? Let's make this quick. The 
us turn our attention to the Immaculate One. This is it. The final battle. Rhea! Not even I have seen this form. Well, that's something, isn't it? A shame we must kill her. Consider the research potential. What's my strategy? I will prevail. Let's clean up. Going for the kill! Shall we? Don't get used to this. Put me in there. I'm awake. I have made my peace. Will this ever end? Until we meet again. Feels good to fight for a cause. Just a hindrance. 
Cement your weakness. You defeat me, left. I feel my strength building. Destiny unfurls. Do not try to resist! You knew it would end as such. Maybe it's better this way. Sending their numbers. That took too much effort. going down. Leave my thoughts! <laughs> you fought well. Not bad at all. It won't be in vain.
I got coffee. Let's clean up. Going for the kill. Stay down. I'll grow as strong as I can. One step closer to victory. I'm awake. I hate this feeling. Guide me well. Lament your weakness. More fighting. Appreciate it. Let's make this quick. In this situation... Shall we? I'll aid you. I've got an idea. Cut through. Too slow. One to remember. Strength never betrays. What's the plan? Whatever it takes! You knew the odds. I could learn from that. Put me in there. The results speak for themselves. I will prevail. Let's make this quick. Appreciate it. Ready and able. Good. 
Guide me well. Shall we? Don't get used to this. What's my strategy? Allow me to demonstrate! It won't be in vain. More fighting. Well done. Let's clean up. I'm awake. Exciting. Was any of this worth it? Thank you. For justice's name. Hard work is a friend to count on. Fine work. Put me in there. What's the plan? I understand more every day.
I'll cut through. their numbers. Win or die.
Is this my last stand? What's my strategy? Here is something to believe in! Yeah! This could turn the tides. That was fun to watch. Let's make this quick. I'm awake. Guide me well. I will prevail. Let's clean up. It's good to shake things up. I'll cut through. Is that all? You haven't earned my pity. Ready and able. Let's make this quick. What's my strategy? I know you want. Put me in there. More fighting. I will prevail. Stay down. I'm awake. Shall we? Never let your guard down.
defeat me? Left. Getting stronger.
There is still room for improvement. You're making me look bad. Okay, nice. <laughs> Sorry, but it's you or me. I sense an improvement. What's my strategy? More fighting. Can't pull back yet. Ready and aim. Guide me well. Let's clean up. I'm awake. Phew. I will prevail. I'm growing, but at what cost? Let's make this quick. I still have a 
long way to go. Got your back. Behold our strategy! I'm in. I have a plan. No matter what, I will not misplace my heart. Appreciate it. Sending their numbers. Strength is all for a mercenary. Exemplar. What's the plan? What's my strategy? More fighting. Thank you. I'll help. It's time. Let's clean up. Put me in there. I'll cut through. Shall we? Ready and able.
Schwab. Guide me well. I will inherit the pride of Nabatea. Rest in peace by Sothis' side! Our power is yours. Commence! Apologies. You have our support. Let's get things rolling. Much needed. Shall we? What's my strategy?
Please! A rising flame was alight as the flow of time carved a new history for Fodlin. Rhea's wild rampage was put to an end, averting what could have been the greatest crisis in the history of Fodlin. After five and a half years of war, a new age was set to begin. The Empire, Kingdom, and Alliance, political structures that had once shaped the continent, were gone. A unified nation began to take shape under the watchful eye of the Church of Saros. The Church's new leader became a champion of the people, working tirelessly to help them overcome the horrors of war and to carve out a path towards reconstruction. Just as St. Saros tended to those who suffered in wars of the past, Fodlin's new ruler embraced their role as mother of all life an arbiter of every soul. As I soared through the sky, I spoke with my mother. Tell me, is it wrong for me to be happy that I escaped death? Can you still say such things to me, even after witnessing my other form? Thank you. Somehow I feel as though your acceptance alone is my salvation. My sweet companion, I am entrusting the future of Fodlin to you. It is the only logical choice, as everyone wishes for you to be the new leader of this land. I am not qualified to continue leading the people. Though my intention was to keep the peace in Fodlin, I still propagated a false history and deceived my faithful followers. I also took advantage of my position as Archbishop to further my own selfish goal of seeing my mother again. If my foolish actions had anything to do with the war, I... I wonder, after all I have done, is it truly acceptable for me to go on living my life? You are aware that it is my fault your fate has been so cruel, are you not? You have become so strong. You and I, we were brought together by the flow of time and bound by the hands of fate. I took you on as a professor, and ever since, well, I believe with all of my heart that this outcome was meant to be. Oh, perhaps it is disrespectful of me to say that. Because it gives all of the credit to time and to fate, 
and doesn't pay you due honor for all of the choices you made that brought us to this moment. For all that you have done, for all the joy that you have brought me, thank you. Ever since the tragedy at the Red Canyon, I have lived a solitary life. In an effort to fill the hole left by that solitude, I took up the challenge of reviving the Progenitor God. I wished for you to become the Progenitor God. I wished desperately to be held in my mother's arms once more. But that has changed. Now, I wish only for you to be yourself and to have you by my side. I love you dearly. And so, I must ask, will you accept this ring? If you feel the same, I would like nothing more than to spend the rest of my life with you. You... You brought a ring as well? For me? I am overcome with joy. I never thought I would know a day so blissful as this. That we found each other. Perhaps that means my mother is looking after us. Guiding us. As the new leader of Fodlan, if you wish for this time of peace to be everlasting, well then, I will happily dedicate my life to supporting your reign. No matter what obstacles we should encounter, I believe that our bond, no, rather our love, I believe that our love can overcome all. Together, we can achieve anything. With our love, we will make Fodlin's future as bright as the stars in the sky.